Like its name says, the northern water snake is always found near water. It feeds primarily on fish or amphibians, and when you scare many snakes, they can swim and you might drive them across water, but the water snake will always go to water uh, as its place of security when it's fleeing from you. And it may go across the water or it may just dive and disappear under a rock at the bottom. Water snakes have a reputation, and it's a deserved reputation, for being a little more defensive than most species. Snakes have temperaments. Different species have different temperaments. Some species, like the red-bellied snake, rarely ever bites, even if you're handling them. However, water snakes probably bite more than half the time. So uh, if you're handling a water snake, just keep that in mind. They might bite you. However, the bite can't do any real harm. It might draw blood, but it can't do any real damage. Uh, the water snake is a large, heavy-bodied snake that might be up to four feet long. It has a beautiful pattern on the underside that is unlike any other species, with yellow and red and white and black all mixed in with red half-moon markings on the margins of the scales. It's a glossy, shiny, bright uh, finish on the belly. The back of the water snake, however, is quite rough with a heavy keel or um, raised yeah. ridge down the center of each scale. Um, the water snake has a, a banded pattern, and as you go from the head to the tail, those bands or saddles may break into alternating rows of reddish spots on a lighter background. Little water snakes may look quite a bit like a milk snake. Conservation concerns would be direct mortality because many people are scared of this large heavy-bodied snake and would kill it, they think, in order to defend themselves, but clearly this snake is not going to attack a human unless you were to try to catch it. Um, and maintaining uh, vegetated, heavily vegetated shorelines, naturally vegetated shorelines, uh, and emergent vegetation in wetlands.